Hello YouTube, Space Cat here, and I'm presenting another video. Uh, first things first, sorry for the lack of uploading yesterday. Um, I always kind of knew the daily vlogs were not going to be too feasible with my work schedule as well as my personal life being pretty hectic. But um, in the, the early stages of my channel, I just wanted to do as much as possible to get the content out there. So. Um, so I'd, I'd be a little bit more searchable and my channel would be more binge worthy just because there's more videos. Um, that being said, um, I, I wanna, I'll probably ride out daily or buy daily vlogs for the rest of this week and then next week I might switch to, to two a week. Um, and then probably, probably just two a week or weekly uploads just so I can take a little bit more time with the content and set up um set up more of a plan for my videos because um as much as i i do like the uh the randomness of you know my uploads and what they're going to be about um i'd like to take a little bit more time with my content and um and really try to try to up the quality of stuff a little bit more and just plan stuff out but um that being said um i'm i'm at actually my my local wendy's where a Warrington firefighter was nice enough to buy me an iced coffee because I forgot my wallet. Um, so shout out to the Warr Warrington Fire Department. Um, very, very appreciative. Um, not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> well, I guess technically, but well, no, it's not sponsored. Um, anyway, today I'm doing another fitness video. Um, I saw my personal trainer today, uh, and. Well, I saw him after after I did group. Um, that was fun, but I have a little bit of a well. I have my my golden rules up top, um, and then I sort of have my my strength training schedule, um, as well as what I'm doing tomorrow. And well, that that more or less just applies to me. Um, or I mean, I guess some of the the golden rules apply to people of my body type or of similar body type, but. Um, the first part of it is I'm just going to go over like my personal stuff and um, what I'm, I'm doing and what he has me doing. And then the next part of it, I have um, this little packet up here titled Athletic Performance, which is going to be about um, how you should eat and schedule it around your workout. And that applies to anybody trying to, to get, um, get more in shape and build more muscle. So starting out, um, I'll, I'll start with this paper. Um, at the top, I have my golden rules. Um, there's two of them. And the number one is to make sure I'm eating at least 175 grams of protein per day. This is due to my fitness goals being, well, my, yeah, my biggest one being to build muscle. And my body will not be able to do that if I'm not eating at least 175 grams of protein a day, um, no matter how much I work out. Uh, now, my, um, my chart says to be eating, I, I went over this before, but, um, or in a previous video, but my chart says to be eating about 45% carbs, 35% protein, and about 20% fats, or, you know, about 40%, um, what's it called, 40% protein, 40% carbs, 20% fats, just somewhere in that, somewhere in that range. But the, the chart itself is, you know, it says to do 45, 35, 20. Um, but my personal trainer said there's, there's some variation in there that I can, uh, I can do. I don't need to stick to exactly that, but optimally, you know. Um, the second golden rule is pre, during, and post. That is related to the protein I'm consuming. Now, he didn't write this down, but pre-workout, this actually kind of applies to everyone. Um, pre-workout, you wanna be having about 30 to 35 grams of protein. During your workout, um, normally in the form of like a protein shake or like, well, yeah, protein shake, like smoothie or something similar. Um, I make protein smoothies, uh, super, super good. I use, you know, Greek yogurt and fruit and that type of stuff. During um, is 20, 
20, like 2025, 20, but 20, and post is another 30. Um, this is due to um, pre, it sort of just like primes the muscles um, to, I guess, get ready to, um, to exert themselves and, and build during, so it, at, like as you're exerting yourself and working out, you're, um, you're fueling your body and post, so it helps you recover and it helps your muscles grow um, as you're recovering. Now, this is uh, more or less my, my strength training schedule. I'm to work out, well, I'm to do tra strength training five to six days of we a week. Two, I'm doing with my personal trainer, it's coach. And three, he's designing for me. And then if I want to do another one, I guess I got to design it for myself. But um, that's just like the days, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, you know. Don't know what he means. Is that Monday? I think that's Monday. Might be machine. I think that's Monday, but you'll, you'll see why I'm, I may I'm thinking it might be machine um, once we get to the, uh, the workouts are for tomorrow. Um, oh yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Oh, and then Friday, okay. I don't know what the, I'm actually a little bit unsure as to what the uh, lower letters are, but um, anyway, these are the, uh, the strength training well, the, the body parts I'm going to be strength training, um, my, my upper body, my chest, my back, and my shoulders. And um, he has me doing, more or less, I'm doing uh, full body workouts every day when I do strength training. Um, now let me go over what he has designed for me to do tomorrow before I go to work. Speaking out of, working out before work is exhausting. I'm already kind of tired. I got to the gym today at about, um, well, let me keep it down there so you guys, I don't spoil what I'm doing. I want to go over it one by one, but uh, I got to the gym, I'm going to say about 8.30. Um, I, did, I did some strength training myself until my 9.30 class. Uh, that went from about 9.30 9.40 to, yeah, about 9.30, 9.40 to uh, almost 11. Um, and that was brutal. Um, it was so brutal because I was lifting beforehand and the first thing we did was lifts. And my arms were already sore, but uh, I was pretty dead after that. Um, that being said, uh, up top, first thing I'm doing chest press and the M stands for machine so that's why I'm, I'm thinking that the M on that may be machine but uh, I mean I'm gonna see him tomorrow so I can I can ask him to, to clarify all those letters but I'm pretty sure that the top ones were the days but that leads me to question why he wrote out Sunday but that, that's I'm getting distracted so uh, the chest press machine um, I'm doing four sets of 12 uh, now those four sets I'm not doing right in a row like I'm not going to do like a set of 12 and then stop and then a set of 12 and then stop and then well I, I'm going to stop but I'm not going to just you know it's I'm going to do a circuit so I'll do that and then I'll go to my number two but um now that I'm doing with medium weight so that's um it's it wouldn't be it wouldn't be like a superset. It wouldn't be, you know, like lightweights, but it would be something that I feel, I feel tests me a little bit, you know, like, or not a little bit, but like it, you know, I can, I can handle a, a weight I can handle, which is, I guess, for me to decide. Um, I'll, I'll play around with it a little bit. Um, if I get there early enough, I'll, I'll have full reign of the gym, you know, but um, I'll probably get there a little bit later so I can go right from there to work. Um, next, lateral rows, um, that's on the machine as well. So from the chest presses, I'll go to lateral rows. 
Um, I'll do four sets of 12, and that's a medium weight as well. So um, again, not, not something I can fly through, but not something that's, you know, unbearably hard, because I am doing four sets of 12. Um, next, I'm doing front raises. Uh, that I will be doing with the um, the uh, the dumbbells. I'll be doing four sets of ten with that, and that'll be light. So um, that'll be more or le more or less like the type of weights I would use if I were like doing metabolic training. Um, so if I could say if I could do front raises with. Um, and say like 15 pounds was like, you know, well, I guess that's, that's lady shit, but um, I'm doing front raises with 15 pounds, say, and that's like, you know, that's, that's good for me. I would drop it to like 10. And yeah, I'd 10, maybe, yeah, like 10, I'd do 10. Um, and that would be, that would be considered light. Um, next, bicep curls, uh, that also will be with the dumbbells, or not the, no, yeah, the dumbbells. Um, four sets of ten, that'll be light medium. Now what that means is like, like I said, um, if 15 pounds is, you know, what I could do, not comfortably, but that would be like, that would be my, my middle ground between doing something that was like really difficult for me to do correctly or, you know, like metabolic training weight or like real, you know, like real easy at least first, um, I'd go somewhere in between that. So like, if it was 15 pounds was like my medium, say 20, 25 was like my heavy, 10 was my light, I'd go about 12 and a half. And I'd do four sets of 10 with that. Now I would go from, you know, chest press machine to the lateral rows machine, to the front raises, to the bicep curls, to shoulder press machine, and you know, I'd, I'd do all of them and then I'd go back up to the top and then that would be my second set. Uh, circuits. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, shoulder press machine. Um, I believe I did them. I did them and the chest presses Tuesday with with my personal trainer, and um, I like the chest presses. I, I I dig chest presses a lot. Shoulder presses were. They got hard after like the the second or third ch set. Um, I dig chest presses though, but I probably won't after tomorrow. But um, the shoulder press machine, um, four sets of twelve, light medium. Oh shoot, <laughs> light medium weight. Um, so again, nothing really pushing. Like I, I wouldn't do a weight that's, you know, I'd I'd struggle with or would be like really pushing my limits, but it would be like just under pushing myself, at least at first. I'm doing four sets of 12, so it'll def I'll definitely start feeling the burn. Uh, the horizontal row machine, those I have not done before. Um, I don't know, I'm worried about workouts I haven't done or really heard of before, um, just because I, I question my form a lot, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Um, you know, like, like I said, if I have any questions, I can just read the machine or there's, you know, my personal trainer is going to be there. There's going to be a bunch of other staff there. But horizontal row machine, um, four sets of 12, and that'll be with a light medium weight. Uh, last one, tricep pushdowns. Um, I'm not quite sure I've done them before. I'm doing four sets of 15 with a medium weight. Uh, that I kind of am worried about. Uh, I'm not too sure how to do them. But um, like I said, figure it out. There's going to be people that help. So, and plus my personal trainer will be there. And he already told me, you know, he'll see me in the morning before I do these and any questions to come to him. So that's what I'll do. And then I'll go all the way back up here. Second set, 12, you know, medium weight. Four sets, 12, medium weight. 
four sets of 10, light weight, four sets of 10, light medium, you know, and so on and so forth, four times over. So, I kind of have my work cut out for me a little bit. So that's, that's more or less just me. Um, next up, athletic performance. Um, no. This is, uh, I'll just read the description, designed for individuals who exercise regularly or participate in sport or other athletic activity. Um, I'm doing strength training five to six days a week. I do ab workouts about, well, five to seven days a week. And I am a runner, so yeah. Um, anybody else who, you know, plays sports regularly, does, you know, lifting, um, works out, you know, regularly, which I mean, I guess includes, but it's not limited to lifting. Um, this, this would apply to everybody, not just me. Um, this is regarding my, uh, my food intake, when I should eat it. And there's also under this, there's uh, suggestions for, for meals um, and suggestions for balanced meals that I could be eating. Um, so I guess I'll just read this aloud. Your menu is specifically designed to help you reach your performance goals. Here's how the plan works. Arrange your meals around your training schedule. Well, I, I don't want to just read the paper. You guys can just read the paper if, you know. But um, basically what this says, um, it will be listed in the packet uh, as like, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then, you know, morning snack, afternoon snack, and I think like evening snack. Yeah, morning snack, afternoon snack, and, oh yeah, and uh, that's, that's, yeah, there's no night snack, <laughs> but um, what I'm going to be doing here, um, I'm supposed to be eating no more than three to four hours apart, I eat every two to three hours, <laughs> um, I'm trying to build muscle and I don't eat a lot normally when I eat so like I mean like I'll eat a decent bit but normally like I'll eat you know two to four hundred calories in my meals so I'll eat you know if I were eating every three to four hours it would be you know say I'm eating 400 calories every four hours it's you know, 400 800 1600 by uh 16 hours and then you know I'm gonna sleep you know I got <laughs> you know you know what I mean I can't like that's 1600 calories I need to be eating double that plus so I'll I'll eat about every two hours and I'll try to you know but um pre-training event meal allowed to read the bullet points your pre-training event meal is shown under morning snack you should eat this meal two and a half to three hours before workouts or competition now I like to eat about an hour or two before I work out. That's just me. Um, I don't really do a pre-training snack. That'll be my pre-training snack. I'll usually, will usually be in the form of a protein shake or like an Atkins bar or something like that. And I'll eat or drink that while I'm working out. So that's why I'll do that instead of two and a half to three hours. I'll do like one to two hours. And then that says 10 to 40 minutes before I do during. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not just like var variating or deviating from what this is telling me with like no, you know, no reason or, or, you know, explanation as to why my personal trainer sort of ha set it up for me like that, or at least he told me, you know, to, to have the protein shake while I'm working out to eat, you know, um, you know, relatively soon to to working out so that's that's just like the schedule I have myself on and I don't really I'm not one of those people that can't work out shortly after I eat so I mean like if I push myself really really hard I'll get nauseous but like that's why I won't eat super super heavy before I work out and if that happens I you know I take a breather <laughs> um, my post training snack is shown after afternoon snack you should consume this immediately after workouts to refill energy stores and enhance recovery now that I kind of do push that off a little bit. I, I will eat 
probably about a half hour after I, I work out, which I should be eating at, immediately after my workouts. Um, I'll, I've been doing protein shakes, uh, or at least I've been trying to do protein shakes. I'm, I get a little uncomfortable when I eat right after I work out, but um, that's normally because I'm eating while I'm working out. So I give, you know, I give whatever I consume during my workouts a little bit of time to digest, and then I'll, I'll eat after. Um, to your post post workout meal is shown under dinner. Any remaining meals can be consumed in any order that fits your lifestyle or venue. Um, now I don't really build my day around when I work out because, like I said, I work full time and I have a relatively busy personal life between um, you know music I, uh, I play bass as you guys have seen in my my vlogs and stuff like that um, I've been trying to practice that more frequently because I've been sort of letting that slip with just how busy I've been um, I'm in a long-term relationship or long-term polyamorous relationship so I, uh, I I devote a lot of time to that um, outside of that, uh, try to be social even though I'm, lately I, I haven't really been, you know, but, um, I more or less have to build my, my day or my schedule around work because I work like nine hours a day, um, which is cool because I have four days off, so all my days off, that's sort of when I build my, my day around when I'm working out, um, and that type of stuff, but... I'm not always able to, to build it around that. Um, so that being that being said, I sort of I, I I have to you know I have to variate how I how I do stuff in terms of exercise, but I do my best to hold true to these um, you know these building blocks and the. Um, what, what am I saying? The uh, sort of the um, the eating schedule that my my personal trainer has me on, and so far I'm doing a pretty good job. I mean, I've been I've had two sessions and two groups, and I already have abs. So <laughs> on top of that, I can definitely tell like after after I work out now, my pump is way bigger than it was before. Now because I know more of what I'm doing and I know how to work out a bit better, and because of that. I am getting better results, not only because I'm doing more, but I'm targeting areas, like I'm tar targeting multiple areas, so I'm able to work out for longer instead of just, you know, doing a couple workouts or a couple exercises in my workout that are targeting, you know, one to two different areas and getting tired out. You know, shortly I can do workouts now that are targeting or exercises that are targeting say four to five areas and I can go a lot longer because I'm giving the areas that I'm exhausting time to recover before I exhaust them again. Um, early morning training. This was me at one point. This is a lot of people out there, so I'll read this, but um, I don't really do this as much anymore. I, I like to wake up and give myself some time before I start early, uh, training. But um, I know a lot of people out there work out as soon as they wake up and a lot of people like to do faster training which is, you know, how that works, <laughs> or uh, one of the, the main ways that people do fasted training. But uh, if you st train soon after rising and have no time for complete digestion of a large meal, make sure you eat your pre-training meal, similar to the meal shown under morning snack, as your final meal of the day. So that would mean, like, um, the night before, you know, like after dinner, you would eat your pre-training meal right before you went to bed and then you would wake up the next day and work out um and you would do that as late as possible so like you know right before you go to bed or like shortly before you go to bed consume only the pre-training snack currently in the lunch slot before your early morning workout now for the most part i give myself some time but sometimes you know i'll wake up 10 30 in the in the morning 11 o'clock, well, yeah, like 10.30 in the morning if I have a late night. Um, I have to be at work by 2. I'll wake up, I'll do some, you know, I'll make something to eat. Uh, or after, you know, after I get 
adjusted and oriented and sort of plan out what I want to do with my day a little bit. Um, and it'll be 11.30 by the time I'm done eating. I'll have to you know, work out, eat something, and then do whatever with my free time before I, I head over to work. So, um, yeah, you know, sometimes it, it be like that. But for the most part, um, I wake up I wake up around eight nine o'clock, or say between like, say between like eight thirty nine thirty, or eight. It doesn't really matter exactly when, but um, I'll have I'll have more time. But sometimes I do have to I do have to rely on that. Um, now these are just suggestions or suggested meals. I don't have to eat this every single day, but um, it's a uh, it's a good start. So um, for breakfast, it says, it states to eat some creamy peanut butter which is 105 calories, honey wheat bagel. I love honey wheat bagels. Anybody who doesn't love honey wheat bagels, we have different views and standpoints on bagels, which is perfectly okay, but I think a little bit less of you as a person. No, <laughs> I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. But seriously, you should like honey wheat bagels. Like there's no reason to not like honey wheat bagels, I'm sorry. Skim milk, um, I prefer whole or coconut or mac any type of nut milk honestly I love I love milk I love all kinds of milk honestly but skim milk's awesome too um, milk milk's just great for you um, but this is says skim milk um, eight ounces which is 91 calories and dot fit uh, yeah all this other the stuff at my gym is is dot fit so a lot of whatever um, you know supplements or whatever in here is, is probably going to be dot fit the dot fit active multi vitamin, it's a, or men's vitamin, uh, multivitamin and mineral formula. I forget what the one, I'm taking a multivitamin, they're, they, they're gummies. Uh, I forget exactly what the brand is. I just started taking it like two days ago. But basically just, you know, take a multivitamin. Your total is 486 calories for breakfast. Um, no, I actually really didn't go over this too, too much beforehand because I know it's just, you know, suggestions for meals. I don't know if this is going to add up to my calorie intake for the day, but uh, actually it's, it's cheap. Oh, screw it. We'll, we'll get to the bottom of it, but I have to eat like 3,300 calories a day. So um, for your morning snack, you want to have a Subway sandwich, a foot-long turkey breast on white bread. Um, I personally prefer wheat uh, or whole wheat but that's because I am a fiend for grains and kind of a, a little bit of a health nerd sometimes. Um, white bread's good too. Uh, you know, I was addicted to white bread for a long, long time. I mean, not like, but well, yeah, kind of addicted, honestly. And a banana, bananas are awesome, dude. Bananas are just a good source of carbs. Um, great for potassium. Not as great for potassium as everybody makes them out to be. Uh, sweet potatoes are way better. Um, Pretty sure squash is better. Um, there's a lot of things out there that are better for potassium than bananas, but bananas are very, very good for potassium nonetheless. Uh, some other key nutrients in bananas that I'm not thinking of that are, you know, important. Uh, let's go to our, and the, oh, that's 560, oh, 632 calories. Um, for lunch, as is having water, 2.8 ounces, dog. You gotta have more. I'm sorry, but you gotta have more. Oh, it's this is a protein shake. Okay, I was about to say you gotta have way more water than that. Um, yeah, the more dot fit stuff. Dot fit pre and post workout formula vanilla. I do uh, GNC. Or no, no. Uh, I had GNC powder, but um, what was the stuff? I just ordered stuff last night on Amazon. Uh, I'll probably make a video about my protein shakes very soon, so you'll see what, what I'm working with. Um, but uh, yeah, I use 100% whey uh, protein. That's the, that's the best for you, honestly. Um, but you know, all this is dot fit because that's that's like their their brand or their sponsor, but whatever, I don't know. But you, you know what I mean. Um, one to two, that's not 12 scoops, is it? That has to be one to two scoops. There's no way that's 12 scoops, dude. 12 scoops for 61 grams of protein, nah. Nah. But, um, 
That's 240 calories. Uh, wait, so you would want to do one serving of two scoops, I think? I don't know. I don't know what that, what exactly that means, but um, then you want 18 ounces of water uh, and some more of the same formula, but you would want to do 0.5 two scoops or half of two scoops. I don't, I don't, I, I don't get what it's, I don't, I don't get what that, <laughs> those measurements are, but anyway, oh, you, okay, so you'd want to do one serving of two scoops and a half serving of two scoops, that's what that's saying, okay, well, figured it out, guys, <laughs> and that's, that's 120 calories, um, so, like it said before, though, um, I just want to go over real quick, sorry, um, the breakfast is your pre-workout meal, that's your, uh, that should, it says to consume two and a half, three hours before your workout. This you want to concern, concern, concern and consume, I'm putting together, jeez. This you want to consume um, about 10 to 40 minutes before your workout. Like I said, I, I eat or drink a protein shake or eat a, a protein bar during, so. Um, lunch, that's, your your post workout um, your po post workout meal and or maybe that's yeah yeah afternoon snack what's your afternoon snack again sorry I'm getting myself a little confuzzled post training snack oh your pre training snack so that's your Oh, so breakfast, you just, that, that's just a breakfast, okay. So I, I got it wrong. So breakfast is just the first meal of the day. This is your, your pre-workout meal. Or your, uh, or your, your pre-training meal. This is your pre-training snack. So this is what you want to have 10 to 40 minutes before. That is what you want to be having two and a half to three hours before. Okay. That is after after your workout immediately, um, or so the uh, you know the guide says. And dinner is just dinner, you know, uh, your your post workout meal. It says uh, roasted chicken thigh meat only without skin. Uh, reasoning is because the skin on chicken is pretty much all fat. Um, that's really all it is. So. Uh, you don't want to be eating a lot of fat um, when you're trying to gain muscle. You want to make sure that you're eating fats, and the fats that you're eating are healthy sources, which chicken skin is. But there is fats already in chicken thigh, and sorry, puffy. <laughs> but um, the the skin just it, it adds it adds more unnecessary fats. So um, that's 217 calories. And then you got your skim milk again. Uh, like I said, I prefer coconut or whole or uh, almond milk. I really love almond milk. I wanted to try um, macadamia milk, but I, I've been having. I had a craving for. You, you guys can watch my Wakeman's video if you if you want to see my my shopping trip and uh, the type of milk I'm drinking. <laughs> uh, whipped butter. I've been trying to stay away from um, from butter, honestly. Not, not because like there's anything wrong with butter, but just because I'm getting enough fats from the foods that I'm eating without having to really add things, you know, like butter in them. Um, if I do add some type of, you know, pure fat source, not pure fat source, but you, you know what I'm, I'm getting at, just like a, like an oil or like a, something that's, that's composed of mostly fats just to, to sort of um, supplement my, my fat intake. It's normally extra virgin olive oil. Um, that's because, I mean, that goes, goes without saying. I don't really think I need to explain why extra virgin olive oil is one of the greatest fats that you can put into your body. Um, honestly, one of the greatest things that you can consume. Uh, but yeah, that's 135 calories, but that, that's another reason why. Like that is a lot of calories for two tablespoons of butter. That's more than eight ounces of milk. And that's more than half of the size of two chicken thighs.
which are 1.8 ounces each, I guess. Um, I don't know if that's each or total, but um, I would imagine two chicken thighs would be more than 1.8 ounces total. Uh, green beans, steamed or boiled uh, green beans. Just, I mean, vegetables in general, just great, great source of carbs uh, through the fibrous carbohydrates. They're the they're the ones that you want. Um, refer to my uh, my last video about um, or my. What was it, my meal meal planning and prepping and why you should do it? Watch that one if you want to get more into uh, the you know fibrous carbohydrates, starch carbohydrate. Learn all about that type of stuff. Um, I talk about that for for a little bit. Uh, cantaloupe melon. Um, I like cantaloupe a lot. Uh, I've been I've been hooked on berries lately though. Berries have been my shit. But cantaloupe is great. Um, Cup, one cup diced, um, you know, nothing nothing wrong with cantaloupe at all. Great for you. Um, good source of sugars, great source of carbs, um, lots of nutrients. So, yeah. Um, also, very uh, hy hydrative. A lot of water in melons. Um, that's why you can actually shoot a watermelon out of a cannonball and it'll break through a two by four where nearly every other fruit would explode on impact. That will completely obliterated two by four there's a I think like a Mythbusters video or like something on that um, I don't I'm not sure if it's on YouTube but you guys should totally check that out just you know YouTube or Google um, watermelon getting shot out of a cannonball or out of a cannon <laughs> it'll probably come up anyway uh, mashed potatoes home style uh, I prefer cauliflower mashed um, it's healthier, uh, it has cauliflower, and I love cauliflower. Plus, it honestly, to me, it tastes so much better. But mashed potatoes are awesome, too. So homestyle mashed potatoes, one and a half cups. Uh, that's 356 calories, and total your dinner is 886 calories. Now, I was told that I would want my breakfast to be the biggest meal of the day, but that's probably because I'm gaining muscle and I do a lot of physical activity. Um, however, this is, you know, this is just a basic um, layout for how you would want to have your meals and structure them around your workout schedule for, I guess, um, you know, just in general. But um, like I said, I, I'm working with a personal trainer and my, my goals and my, um, my, my stuff's more, more specified. So that's probably why um, the type of schedule he has me on is a little bit different than this. But these are all like, generally very very good rules of thumb um which is why he gave me this packet to begin with so that's the video for today i really hope you guys liked it um drop a like and a comment and subscribe and ring the bell and make sure to share this video with everybody because my channel is still very new and unless i'm sharing the videos it's really hard to get the content out there so um if you guys share it that's you know even even better um also please make sure to leave comments that uh that helps a lot too but um, let me know what type of stuff you guys want to see me do next. Um, I love doing these types of videos. Uh, I feel like they're informative. They're fun to do. They've grown a little long though. But um, you know, I'm still learning about all this, all this like health, fitness type stuff. Um, I'm new to it, so I feel like that kind of puts me in a niche to where a lot of people who aren't, you know, health nuts or don't really know how to go about bettering their, their personal fitness and their um, just their, their health and their diet in general. Um, it, it puts me in a, in a good spot to be able to, to help those people take the first you know early steps because I'm still learning with a lot of this stuff too. Um, so it's not like, I don't know, it's not like I've been doing this for, for a really long time and it's seems like it's you know really really hard to do all this stuff because I'm getting like the you know I'm getting the, the baby steps type stuff to to get to where you know those people who have been doing this shit for 10 years are at so you know pretty much like if I can do it you guys can do it too so that's why I like to do these types of videos um on, on top of that, it's just a fun to subject for me. I love learning about this type of stuff because I've never really taken care of myself or my body or um, known about any of this stuff, and I'm learning about it now, and that makes me happy. So, um, yeah, that's the video. Um, you know, I already did the whole like, comment, subscribe pitch. Um, make sure to ring the bell and share, though. That's 100%. 
Um, other than that, make sure you guys take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow, but if not tomorrow, Saturday. Probably tomorrow, because I don't see how it's going to be feasible for me to get a video to you guys Saturday, but... Well, I'm no, actually, I, I'm not going to go to the gym Saturday, or I probably won't go to the gym Saturday, so... If not tomorrow, Saturday. Um, yeah, take care of yourselves, guys. Meow.